Natural disasters cannot be controlled by man. The only thing a person can do is try to bring himself and his area back to its original state after a natural disaster has struck. Whether it's a hurricane, a tornado, a volcano eruption or a tsunami, no part of the world is safe. These disasters can occur anywhere, anytime and with any intensity. The world has seen some of the worst natural disasters ever. When it comes to storms, not only do they ruin the land and homes of millions of people altogether, it also causes casualties of countless people and animals. The only way to save yourself from these natural disasters is to go away from them. Staying at a place which is under a threat of a storm is never a good idea, and will probably never end up good. There have been a lot of memorable hurricanes over the years that have affected the whole world. The devastation from these storms can vary significantly from wind damage to flooding to injuries and death. However, if we combined the worst storms to ever occur in our world, the following are the five of the worst storms which the world has seen. Number 1. The Galveston Hurricane of 1900 The Great Galveston Hurricane of the 1900 is known as the deadliest disaster which hit the United States. To give a simple overlook of the destruction which uh, this storm caused, it made landfall on the 8th of September 1900. It was a category 4 hurricane which had winds of 145 miles per hour. The lowest pressure recorded was 936 millibars. Galveston sits at 9 feet above sea level and the storm surge rose to 15 feet. After crossing over Cuba as a tropical storm, the Galveston hurricane emerged from Florida straight and quickly intensified to hurricane status. The storm continued to churn in the Gulf of Mexico, gaining strength before making a right turn into Texas. Galveston was hit with catastrophic damage, but the destruction wasn't confined to the Gulf area. The storm continued its path north and slowly weakened as it passed over Oklahoma, the Great Lakes and Halifax, Nova Scotia in Canada. The Galveston hurricane caused about $21 million in damage, which is the equivalent of $641 million today. In this extremely horrific storm, about 3,600 homes were completely destroyed. Along with that, it also killed nearly 8,000 people, which was about 20% of Galveston's population and left about 30,000 injured. The Galveston hurricane truly did cause massive destruction and a record death toll. It was the kind of storm which affected the area so much that it took a long time for those areas to get back to the original state. Other than that, it also caused a lot of trauma to the people of the affected area, as well as the rest of the world who witnessed it, which is why it can be easily called one of the worst storms to ever hit the earth. Number 2. Miami Hurricane of 1926 The Miami Hurricane of 1926, to this day, is described by the US Weather Bureau in Miami as one of the most destructive hurricanes ever to strike the United States. This deadly storm hit multiple cities, including Fort Lauderdale, Dania, Hollywood, Hallandale and Miami. The 1926 Miami Hurricane made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane on the 18th of September 1926. The winds of the hurricane were recorded to be 150 miles per hour with a low pressure of 930 millibars. This deadly storm caused damage of about $105 million, which is the equivalent of $90 billion of today. The storm made a second landfall in Alabama and Mississippi as well. The estimated number of casualties of this storm were reported to be 372 deaths with over 6,000 who were injured. Florida's economy was deeply affected because of the devastation of this hurricane combined with the Great Depression. The state was not able to fully recover until the 1940s. The Miami hurricane caused a lot of destruction and damage. The areas which it affected took years to come back to the original state. 
Many people were left homeless, many killed, and many mentally traumatized for life. The Miami hurricane of 1926 was truly one of the deadliest storms which hit the world. Number 3. Okeechobee Hurricane of 1928 just two years after the Miami hurricane, Florida got served another massive blow that crippled the southern part of the state. Another deadly and destructive storm which hit the United States is the Okeechobee. On the 6th of November 1928, the tropical cyclone developed off the African coast and quickly intensified to a tropical storm by the end of the day. The storm had 160 miles per hour winds and low pressure of 929 millibars. The hurricane's destructive winds and high storm surge destroyed about 1,700 homes along the Florida coast and caused around 4,000 deaths, making it one of the deadliest hurricanes ever seen. It then turned north, slowly weakening to a category 1 hurricane before heading back into the Atlantic and making a second landfall in South Carolina. The Okeechobee hurricane caused a damage of about $100 million, which is the equivalent of about $1.4 billion in 2019. The storm surge caused the Lake Okeechobee to pour out the southern edge, which ended up flooding hundreds of square miles with as much as 20 feet of water. The Okeechobee hurricane of 1928 caused one of the worst storm surges the world has ever seen. The surge destroyed the lands and houses and made a lot of people homeless. This storm left behind a lot of trauma and destructive property, which is why it's one of the deadliest storms the world has seen. Number 4. Hurricane Andrew of 1992 The Hurricane Andrew of 1992 was a Category 5 storm which affected South Florida and the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Andrew quickly returned to Category 5 status before slamming into the Florida coast on the 24th of August. It made landfall with a central pressure of 922 millibars, making it the fourth most intense hurricane to strike the US with 175 miles per hour winds. The Hurricane Andrew resulted in $26.5 billion in damage, along with 63,000 houses destroyed and 124 homes damaged. It was also reported that it caused about 65 deaths. About 1.4 million people lost power at the height of the storm. Other than that, it was also reported that 70,000 trees down in the Everglades and 80% of the trees were lost in the Atchafaila River Basin. Furthermore, about 187 million freshwater fish were also killed throughout the basin and Bayou La Fosse. It was also reported that the oil companies had to face about 500 million in losses. This storm caused so much damage that it took years for the affected areas to return to their original state. With the kind of destruction it caused, people still remember this storm today as one of the deadliest storms we have ever seen. Number 5. Hurricane Katrina of 2005 Hurricane Katrina is not a name unknown to our world today because of how recent this deadly storm was. The Gulf Coast was hit with a killer storm in 2005 called Hurricane Katrina, which, in simple words, crushing everything in its path. Katrina tops the list of the costliest natural disaster and third deadliest storms to ever hit the US. Katrina's most catastrophic impacts were from storm surge rather than the wind because of its sheer size. The storm surge was reported to be about 28 foot at its peak the highest surge on record in the US. It was recorded that the large field of the strong onshore winds pushed a record-breaking storm surge into the Mississippi Gulf Coast, which penetrated 6 miles inland across most of South Mississippi and up to 12 miles inland along bays and rivers. The Hurricane Katrina resulted in $108 billion in damages, 
making it the costliest hurricane ever to hit the US on record. It was reported that the central pressure dropped to 902 millibars, which was the lowest pressure observed in an Atlantic Basin hurricane since the Gilbert in 1988. The casualties reported because of the hurricane was nearly 1,600 deaths and about 6,000 injured. It was also reported that more than 10,000 gallons of oil were spilled into the Gulf of Mexico because of Hurricane Katrina. All these storms are some of the worst storms which the world has seen. Causing damage in life, land, property and much more made these some of the most memorable natural disasters of the world. Once one part of the world suffers from such horrific events, the whole of the world suffered in fear and distress. Although these storms do cause a lot of harm and damage, it still does bring people together, helping each other to get back to their lives. The silver lining in these situations is that communities and people often come together to help others in times of tragedy.